You know what a movie I love? Hamilton. But Richie loves these movies. <laughs> Since Scream 6 has come out, fans have been watching the movie over and over again, trying to find the hidden Easter eggs within and reliving their favorite moments. Scream! And although there kind of isn't really anything funny about this genre, when the camera is turned off or the cast has some slip ups with their lines, sometimes the cameras continue to roll and we get to see just what happens during these moments. And today we have some rare footage that you may not see anywhere else. Not oh, now. Do it. I'm oh, too, your chicken I'm is so good. I'm too shy. Do it. No, her chicken is I'm so shy. shy. I, do do I can't go, do it while I'm filming. Go, 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 go. I can't do it. Go, go, go. 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 That wasn't that good. That wasn't that good. That was Ripsing. Running with my Beheadings. Remember Samantha Carpenter's alibi? Mm -hmm. You want to go again? You're having trouble in that area? Mindy. Mindy. Jesus. You're good. This Chad. Is all this time in the world. Chad. That didn't work. This is your dude. Gives that sort of ghost face. <laughs> I forgot my life. Yes, he was a very passionate fan. And he inspired others, other film students. This, what is this film studies thing? But before we get into more of these moments, some trivia for you. How old was Melissa Brera when she played 23-year-old Sam in Scream 5? Leave your answer in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. Great. I hope you got that. I hope that makes it into the movie. Since 55, please ah. Uh. Keep your ghost vest. Huh? Fuck, do that again. Sam. What's that all about? Is everybody a director now? They give you a cell phone and you can direct this. You can do a four second vine. Do they even have vine anymore? 20 million people say it. I'm a director. You're a director. Let's co-direct. What the fuck? And speaking of Easter eggs, during the subway scene, besides seeing Ghostface everywhere, the directors actually revealed that they themselves were hidden within all of the people in the subway, along with the other people dressed as celebrities and references to other horror films like Pennywise. <laughs> Going, that was, that was, that was good. sexy. That was sexy? Yeah. yeah. Are you like a little turned on right now? I'm a little good. turned on right now. Do, do it. it right Just now. fucking do it. Do it right okay. now. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Get ready to slice up some more motherfuckers. Billy and Slam, Team Loomis. <laughs> Billy and Slam. It's a DNA match for, uh, you know who I mean, Roman Bridger. Fucking Roman fucking Bridger. I got three other names later today, too. Your ghost face has to wait for me, ghost face. <sighs> Sorry. That was bad. On my part? No, 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 no. For me, that was bad. Sorry, that was... Sorry. Melissa Barrera and Jenna Ortega have been an iconic duo with this film and fans have really grown fond of their close friendship throughout the last two Scream films as they play sisters. And this moment right here just proves that they are pretty close in real life. I said we can dance. Dance break! too dark. Plus, they don't make sense, right? I mean, they're a murder mystery, but uh, the hero never solves the mystery. And then the villain just announces himself at the end of the movie. That's no way to end a movie. Three, three. Scream. I loved that. No one told me to do that. Little real life Franchester. 
Easter and Franchester. Who comes up with that word? Me. <laughs> it's it's Easter and Franchise together. But real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. Who are you, man? Is that real? <laughs> Ground now. <laughs> so sorry. There was this really funny moment when whoever was in the ghost face costume quickly came in and tried to do a sneak attack, but for whatever reason, the other actors just didn't react, which just made it all the more funny. Hey, that man. was great. <laughs> Thank you. That uh, felt really good. Thank you. Yeah. I like that. In uh, 62. Scream! Take one. Victor 44. Hello? 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 <laughs> Jack, let me in touch with the Atlanta Field Division. Is that the right line? Anybody? Atlanta Field Office. Atlanta Field Office and. And, and yeah, check check on her. I think I might have an idea about how to turn the K. Ah, you guys. There was so much secrecy going on behind the set that even the person playing the killer didn't even know that they were the killer. William Chirac was asked once when the franchise could end, to which he said, as long as we can keep coming up with fun places to put Ghostface, I don't think this specific franchise needs an end. All right, all right. Hey, yeah. cheers, man, to the dynamic duo of Hortense Tower, one more time, please, Jesus. Because there's always somebody new and a whodunit movie is always fun. But just like the Fast and Furious franchise that we have talked about before on this channel, all good things must come to an end. And even if there are four or five more films, eventually it will most likely come to an end one way or another. Time and wise? Oh, you didn't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> it's my first day. No, it's, uh, I, don't, I don't know how better to convey That was great. You're doing great, man. See what you can dig up on them. Um, Agent Reed. Yeah. Thanks, Buck. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. Uh, I think I have an idea about how to turn the tables on this freak. Yeah. I'm in. I mean creep. I'm so sorry. I mean creep. Which is what I've been wanting to say for two months since I got this job. We can take a look at this moment when one of the investigators of Ghostface has a really hard time remembering the names of other people who he suspects to be Ghostface. It's a DNA match for him. <sighs> What's the name? All right, Mindy, hey, go, hey. go, 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 come on. Well, great, come in. Also cold mountain side, nice, Cindy. God damn it, that's not her name. There have been a few articles that have come out regarding the rumors surrounding Scream 7. As of right now, Scream 7 hasn't been officially greenlit, which means there's no release date just yet. Oh, hey, Tara. Jason. Are you and Greg gonna come to the OKP? Uh, OK. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Stupid bitches wake up! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah. What'd you say, Jasmine? I love that that's what you come up with. That's How was your day? <laughs> I, I think it was fantastic, my love. After Scream 5 was released last year, an official announcement for its sequel came the following month, with Scream 6 arriving 14 months later. Based on this, if Scream 7 were to get a concrete announcement sometime in the next few weeks, then it could land in theaters sometime in mid-2024. Creep, right? Freak. Freak. Got it. Freak. Freak. Got it. Freak. <laughs> He's leaving them on purpose? Yeah, I know. Can you do that? I mean, now uh, I know. Uh, not bad, cute boy. <laughs> uh, are you and Greg going to come to the OGP party? Yeah, I mean, if he finishes his Spanish paper in time. Is your sister going to come? <laughs> no, Sam, what have we got dead at a fat party? What? Well, I mean, there's a first time for everything. <laughs>
Of course, we would more than likely see Ghostface once again terrorizing his prey, and the rest of the cast is more than excited to reprise their roles. Given that Jenna Ortega survives the ending of Scream 6, she has said numerous times that she has ideas for a Scream 7. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. All this time I've been nailing it. Your friends are safe! Fine. Let's go! Okay, all right. Okay. Just... And a go! Okay, sorry. Let's go! Friend! Two go. of you are here! Come on! One is left! <laughs> Let's go! At the premiere of Scream 6, co-director Matt, who directed alongside Tyler Gillette, said that he hoped there would be a Scream 7, even if he wasn't involved, perhaps indicating that Paramount was exploring the possibility of a new director. So I called Mount Sinai and Mindy and Gail are gonna be okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's over. It's over. That's it. Did we get it? Did we get it? No! <laughs> Mindy! And as far as the answer to our trivia question, Melissa Barrera was 31 years old at the time she was shooting Scream 5. Connie loved this movie. And I loved my son. So I helped, I helped him build this whole collection, which I know seems nuts, and the shipping costs were out of control! So what do you guys think about all these moments? Which one was your favorite and are you looking forward to a possible Scream 7? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. Fuck. You dropped your gun. <laughs> That's bad. Freeze, motherfucker. No. <laughs> oh shit. Reminder with a gun.